Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my couch potato farming guide. Now, this is my first video using a mic, so if my commentary doesn't sound that great, then that's why. And before I start, I know there's a lot of videos out there showing you how to farm for couch potatoes or how to stack the plots, but you know, there's no full guide showing you like all the little details, like uh, the growth speed modifiers, uh, which cuts down the time it takes for it to get to elder like in half. And that's what I want to do in this video. Okay, so if you're watching this, then you're probably already at endgame or you're getting close. Um, otherwise, it'll be kind of hard to farm for the couch potatoes. Um, but you can also buy them in the crown shop in the gardening section. Uh, they do cost 1500 crowns, which in my opinion isn't worth it uh, unless they are on sale. So. Uh, I'll just start off the video by showing you guys uh, where to farm for the couch potatoes. Okay, so we're gonna start in Grizzleheim first because it's one of the beginning worlds and um, a lot more people have access to here than the uh, later worlds. So we're just gonna start here first. So if you open the map, um, we're gonna go to Saverstad Pass. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, there's two enemies I want to show you, and then uh, we will go to the next world. Okay, so the first enemy, um, if you just keep going straight all the way to these teleporters, go past them, and then make a left turn. Uh, then make another left turn. The Trouble Warriors, uh, these are pretty easy to beat. Um, they drop couch potatoes. And let's go to the next one. So you're going to be taking the yellow teleporter. And they are right up here. The split hoof barbarians. Uh, they drop couch potatoes also. But in Grizzleheim, uh, there's a lot of enemies that drop couch potatoes. So if these two enemies, um, if you don't like farming them, uh, you can find some other ones on the wiki. But uh, let's move on to uh, another world. Okay, so the next world we are going to go to is Mirage. And there is one enemy here that you can farm that um, they drop both the evil magma peas and couch potatoes. So after you exit the little tunnel over there, uh, you just go straight and go left. And then just follow this path and they are called the Gulcher. And I'll just open the map so you can see where I am. Um, I farmed them for probably like two hours and got maybe probably 10 or eight seeds. So these are, I think, pretty good uh, to farm. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next area is in Imperia. And when you get here, uh, you just want to make a left turn and go to the aerial jungle. Okay, so when you get here, uh, all you have to do is go straight a little bit and then make a left turn into this little tunnel. And in here, uh, you have the spider monkeys. They also drop uh, couch potatoes and evil magma peas. And they, they have really good uh, drop chances. So if you, um, if you have access to here, um, I would highly recommend this place for evil magma peas and couch potatoes. And the last place um, is going to have to be the secret tunnel. Uh, let's see where it is. Is it over here? Yes, okay. So, uh, in the secret tunnel, all the bosses, they drop couch potatoes and evil magma peas. And I've gotten a few of them, um, trying to farm for Cabalist gear. So, uh, this place is okay, but um, I mostly recommend the spider monkeys, if you have access to that area. Okay, so now we're at my red barn farm. And I'll just show you the spells that you'll need. Uh, so you're going to need the large soil. 
the large area uh, ring and the large area uh, music flute and you're also going to need the bug spray um, for rank 1. Um, another spell that you might want to use is pixie uh, but this is optional. So now we're getting to the end. Um, here are some of the items you're going to need. Uh, I only have like two of them. Uh, so you're going to need nine crates, uh, two gnomes, two sandwich stations, and then four litter. And uh, you can get uh, the sandwich uh, station and the four litter uh, at the bazaar. And I already have it marked, so we can go there now. Okay, so now we're going to go to the decoration. And we are going to buy the litter first. Uh, let's see. Litter. Here it is. So we're going to get two. And then we need two sandwich stations. I think I passed it. Uh, here it is. Okay, so get two of these. And then let's go back to the barn farm. Okay, um, uh, before I start with the uh, plots, um, if you don't have a barn farm, uh, I highly recommend it because um, it's one of the uh, speed modifiers that um, adds to uh, like decreasing the amount of time it'll take for the, the seed to get to Elder. Um, or if you want, you can get the Botanical Gardens. Uh, that's also one of the other choices. Okay, so I'm just going to leave all this here for now, and then I'm going to start with the plot. Actually, before you start, um, if you have a mount, uh, you should unequip it because when you go from gardening to placing object, um, it switches and then, or it, it equips and then unequips the mount, uh, which gets annoying. Whoops, I forgot the boxes. Okay, so you're gonna need your boxes for this one. For this first part. Okay, so I'm gonna start uh, with this area here in the front. So what I usually do is I place one box in the corner. Um, I place one next to it and then one behind it. And then the next box is where I'm gonna start. So I'll just pick up the rest of them, and then I start from there. And we're gonna make a uh, three by three. Okay. Okay, and now we're gonna go to the garden. We're gonna click on soil, large. And for this plot, uh, I'm going to make it a stack of two, uh, three by four. Okay, so um, to have the next plot uh, right next to the, the previous one, all you have to do is take the boxes in the front. You move it half the distance or half the length of a full box. And you do it for all three of them in the front. And then you take the boxes in the back and you move all of them to the front. That. And you do this so that way uh, the plots are right next to each other instead of being separate. Okay, and then let's do the next one. So you take the box in the front, move it half the length of a full box, and you do it for three of them. And then take the rest and move it to the front. Okay, and then the large. 
much soil. Okay, so we are done with the first row. So to start with the second row, you do the, the same thing. You move it, you move the box in the front, or you move it uh, in whichever direction you want to have the, the next plot. So I don't want to move it down one. So I just take the, plot, uh, the boxes and I move it halfway. Okay, and then you do the same thing, move it half the length of a full box, and in which direction you want to place the next plot. Okay, so you want to have the top, uh, the top done first before you you place anything on the bottom. So I'm just gonna fast forward uh, the top part. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, can't make calls collide. Okay, so now we are done with the top. Uh, so now for the bottom part, um, all you have to do is get one of them in the right position and then the rest of them will go in uh, really easy. So that right there looks perfectly centered from the top one. Okay, so now that you have that one, uh, the rest of them are a lot easier. Because uh, you just have to eyeball it and then just put it right next to the, uh, the previous one. So I'm going to fast forward uh, this part until I'm done. So it looks like that is it. Um, so after this, you want to get your items. Uh, the items that we bought before from the 
bazaar. Pick these up. Wait, did I only buy two litter? Okay. That's alright. Okay, so with the litter, um, you just have to spread them out, four of them. I only bought two, my bad. I'll just pick it up from that area. So you just want to spread it out evenly um, on both sides. Just like that. And then... Oh, and then with the gnomes, uh, you only need two. Put one in here in the corner. And then another one in the opposite corner. And then the same thing with the sandwiches. So one in this corner. Uh, there we go. There we go. And one in the other corner. There. Okay. So what um, these items do is they they're like speed modifiers. Uh, so with the sandwich station, you get twenty percent. With the uh, Garden Gnome, you get 25%. And then with the uh, Red Barn Farm, you get 15 along with the Litter, which is 10%. So if you have four of those, um, I, think, I think that's like 90%. So usually the Couch Potatoes, they take about 10 days. But with uh, those items placed there, the, the Speed Modifiers... Um, it's only going to take five and a half days. So instead of 10, uh, you only have to wait five and a half days. So the speed modifiers that I was talking about before, the uh, tropical garden gnome, the sandwich station, the red barn farm, and the litter, uh, they all add up to uh, 70%. So to get the 90%, um, you would also need the pixie spell. So after um, they, they grow to young, you can use the pixie spell and make it 90%, uh, which then it would take uh, uh, five and a half days for, for, for the seeds to grow to elder. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my couch potatoes from my bank and then we can go ahead and plant them. So it looks like I had enough energy to plant all of them. Um, so with this plot, I only did a two stack uh, because if you do a three stack without like the rug under it, um, when when you use uh, your let's see your your farming spells, um, it's not gonna do all three layers. So that's why you need like a rug. But like I don't know how to do that, so I just keep it at two stack. Um, okay, so if you put your mouse uh, on the seed, you can see it has four likes right now. Uh, one for uh, garden gnomes, the sandwich station, the litter, and then this uh, red barn house. Um, so if you had the pixie, it would have uh, five likes. All right, hopefully this video wasn't too long. Uh, if it was helpful, uh, please leave a like. If you want me to make uh, another video for the evil magma peas, um, I can do that. And I will see you guys in the next video.